Welcome again to a highly questionable, highly questionable. What's best on the show today, Bo? One of the dudes on the Broncos. Apparently, they tried to get real disrespectful with Tom yeah. Brady. No, apparently, real disrespectful. Vamos, Papi. Should the NFL have waited until after the Super Bowl to announce they're investigating Peyton Manning? The math is always in the critics' favor. If they'd waited until after the Super Bowl, we'd accuse them of cover-up for waiting until after the Super Bowl. So they're doing it. Now they're doing it in real time. They've been investigating it for weeks, and now they just announced a couple of weeks beforehand that they're doing it. But I would ask you this, Pomani, because a lot of people are going to say it's bad for the NFL. All of these controversies with Tom Brady, with pa Pac-Man Jones and Perfect. Are they actually bad for the NFL? Ray Lewis with deer antler spray because they trample the people involved and it's not good for them, but it just gets us talking more and more as the weeks lead up to the Super Bowl. And I don't see how any of this is bad for football. I will say this though. When they say they're conducting an investigation, I could call anything an investigation. That ain't nothing but a big old word. We're having this discussion because Major League Baseball announced they'd be working with USADA to look into the same allegations against baseball players. And the NFL originally said, no, they're just going to do their own investigation. Now there's a back and forth with Greg Aiello and TJ Quinn of ESPN about whether or not USADA is going to actually be involved in this for the NFL. The NFL has no incentive whatsoever to look into this because worst case scenario for them, we sully the legacy of Peyton Manning. Who does that help? Nobody. I'm not even sure that that's the worst case scenario. It's that plus, hey, you want to really start investigating HGH in that sport? Because the human beings are in the pain game. This is a healer, and everyone's a lot larger than they are in baseball. We made a mess with the steroids. It would make sense that half this league would be on HGH. What more proof they need? He 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 rushed for about 17 yards. You know, oh, he had scrambled yes, for right, about 17. Yeah, he, right there right in front there. of everybody. That's it. He hadn't known Guilty. that in about 10 years. Guilty. Right Guilty. there. That's the time to nail him right after that game. How insulting is it to Peyton Manning that he thinks that that is the evidence of the use of performance enhancing drugs? Like, what you trying to say about me? Guilty. Ethically speaking, should Gary Kubiak look into which Broncos player said he tried to rub his junk on Tom Brady's face? Now, when we say junk, we mean junk like oh, no. that right there. Yeah. Like Robert Klemko yeah. of MMQB, he said he talked to one of the Denver Broncos defenders who said that they were trying to hit Tom Brady and that one of them tried to rub his crotch in Tom Brady's face. Yeah. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where the limitations of anonymous sourcing come in. You got to put your name on this one. We just can't have it out here willy-nilly that the whole team looks like they're a bunch of junk thrusters, right? <laughs> if I'm Von Miller right. and I didn't do that, you know how mad I am? Yeah, because right. we all think it was Von <laughs> it Miller was who Von did Miller. that. It was Von Miller. I'm ready to say it recklessly. I'm ready to expose the source. Willy-nilly, an excellent word choice for you to use in this circumstance. Until proven otherwise, everyone else in that locker room has to deny it. And Von Miller, I want to hear from you the most because we can put up all the video of Von Miller dancing suggestively. He's the only guy over there who's gotten sexual fines this season. Oh, thank you. We have it here. Did get to the bottom of it? Oh, there uh, Yeah. I say it is, though. If that was the play, <laughs> shout out to Tom Brady for getting that leg up like he knew what was coming. I mean, come on. <laughs> it's that guy. That guy's guilty right there. Well, uh, Brady was was very smart guy. He always kept his helmet on. You gotta yeah. give him credit yeah. for it. Yeah. I never saw him losing yeah. his helmet, yeah, you know. Right. So they had no yeah. chance whatsoever. <laughs> if Brady had known that's what they were trying, he'd have come back out there with one of them shields <laughs> on, like Ladanian Tomlinson. <laughs> Should Blake Griffin sitting out four to six weeks and an apology be enough to move on? Oh, that great uncomfortable journalism place we reside in where we don't have any new details or facts, but we want to keep talking about a story and we need to keep talking about a story. So this is the way they present the question because we don't have enough details and facts. No, it's not enough. And when we get more details, we will have the kind of information we need to know whether or not Blake Griffin needs to be punished more. But you need the details and somebody's going to get them. It's the Clippers. It's TMZ. Who's going to get him. Can someone do our job for us so that we can talk about this responsibly? Yeah, no, you can't say that your penalty for breaking your hand upon someone's face is the time it takes to recover from said broken hand. Like, that's a little cake and eating, too, when you stop and think about it. However, the Clippers, I think, have a different issue. The David Blatt story, the part that we don't talk nearly enough about in that is what happens when you lose the respect of the team that is around you? Because that's what happened with Blatt. He lost that respect. 
I'm not so sure it's going to be that easy to respect a 6'10 dude who lets 6'10 dudes push him around all the time, but then blacks up the eye of a 5'9 guy. He's got to go back in that locker room, and that's what they're going to have to figure out. How are they looking at Blake Griffin after all of this happened? In many ways, Bomani, right, this is worse than getting into a fight with a teammate. If we had that story in our hands, we would run with it, him fighting with a teammate. But taking out an employee, we haven't seen something quite like this since Manny Ramirez did it with a traveling secretary and a a lot of people turned on Manny Ramirez when that happened because he wasn't bullying a peer. He was bullying an underling. Blake, you pick on the wrong guy. Next time you want to get into a big fight, you come down here and you fight my son. <laughs> He'll be ready for you. You know, he's not the pushover now. You know, you're going to have your hands full, right? I mean, I'll yeah. take that one. Yeah, he ain't going right. to fight. This, I'll is, take that this one. is tricky. Dan's about 6'3. <laughs> you know what I mean? That might be you're too tall to fight Blake Griffin. No, I'm not JJ Barea. And there's always more money on this side in case there is Whoa. he needs some help. What are yeah. you dragging him into this for? <laughs> Negotiating the deal. That's what I'll be here for. <laughs> Well, in case Blake needs some help. Oh, Bomani, you know. Bomani, Bomani, Bomani's, Bomani's, there. Bomani's there for Blake. Okay. <laughs> Will you respect Baron Scott more or less if he actually challenged someone to a fight on Instagram? All right, you may have seen this. Byron Scott put up a video on Instagram of him doing some boxing. Somebody came in the comments section and said, you better have them hands when I see you. And Byron Scott, a man of a generation where you don't say those things unless you mean it, apparently wants to fight the dude. Except now Byron Scott says, no, somebody else got his password. And that's how that response wound up going there. He didn't actually want to fight the guy. And I was totally on board with Byron Scott. Like, look at this, though. Like, this I'm not on board with. Right, where he claims to have been hacked and his uh, social media is all about positive and uplifting things unless he's telling you to bring it because it's been a bad season he's been dealing with kobe all year and he put a video of him boxing and he totally said that he was not hacked he wants you to bring it a hacker would have been more clever than that than just bring it what if that guy was really kobe Oh, if that guy was really Kobe, then Byron Scott would apologize <laughs> pronto. Like maybe that maybe that's what happened. Somebody told him it was actually Kobe, and he's like, whoa, whoa, I know who I work for. Would you like more shots, Kobe? Can I get you some more shots? What was more Kobe last night? Making Larry Nance Jr. get up from his seat or approving of Dirk's game winner? I love the way that Deadspin had the headline on the first one. The headline on the first one is Larry Nance Jr. gives up his seat to lost old man. Let's show the video of Larry Nance Jr. There's your lost old man. Get up and you sit on the floor. I'm a legend. You're the son of someone who was not as good as I am. And then there's this. Dirk beat you. How about some of that? That's legitimate nostalgia there between two old guys. Re that's reminiscing right there. <laughs> Pride at age. Hold on, look at my man standing next to Kobe after Dirk hit that shot, though. He didn't find that to be nearly as humorous. He looked like he wanted to punch Dirk in the face. Right there. <laughs> he, he ain't got no nostalgia about this situation whatsoever. Uh, now, Larry uh, Dance, let's not forget that Larry Dance is the guy that we dug into his Twitter from way back in the day and found where he was talking about Kobe and said, hashtag rapist that one time. Yeah. That means that whenever Kobe wants to sit down, you have to give him the seat. Swaggy P wasn't about to get up. Like, I would have liked to have seen how that had gone. That was the man closest to Kobe other than um, whoever that is. Who is that guy? I think that's Sacre. Is that Sacre? Is I he guess. still with them? That's not Sacre. Is that Sacre? That's not Sacre. Oh, I know. Nick Young sitting there like, I wish Kobe would ask me to get up out this seat. Who the real legend on this team? Swaggy P. How about this, by the way? Are we going to just not notice that Kobe doesn't care at all anymore about winning? Like <laughs> one of the most cutthroat competitors of our lifetime sitting there just tapping Nowitzki on the back because he beat him. Well, they didn't beat Kobe. They beat the Lakers. You know, right. Kobe was so, yeah, wearing his suit. You know, yeah, he didn't right. care, really. Right. Kobe's right. like, I didn't miss a shot tonight. I don't know what you're talking about. Coming up next on Highly Questionable. Oh! <laughs> oh, dear God. Uh, on the count of three. One, oh, no. two. No, noodles. Oh, noodles. Time to play the game that love Commando Wednesday. Do you question? I didn't get that memo. You give us topics and events, and we question them. Do you question if the Georgian All-Star game is leaked? I mean, they're talking about Atlanta. I'll be able to. It's been a minute. Hey, I, I can try one day. Do you question whether a person can bounce back from this? Okay. Usually, if you're in this part of the show, it becomes questionable whether you can bounce back from stuff. Let's see. 
Oh, dear God. I mean, I mean. Dang. No is the short answer for the, what is this? What did we just show people? What, 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 what the last two things that we've shown from basketball, where are we oh, getting them? Hold on, show that one more time, because apparently all this dude does <laughs> is play basketball and do shrugs. <laughs> like, why is your back, like? <laughs> this guy's in My the gym goodness. doing, this guy's been doing nothing but shrugs. He's right. Dude, who's the old Bud Needy Brown dude that gets up to pat my man on the back afterwards? I, I right. love when Bomani makes the Bundini Brown references. Do you question if this is a smart way to do sit-ups? Can't be. I mean, we do <laughs> exercise very poorly on this show. It's usually weight room disasters. This what do we got? This part of the show is not for rewarding intelligence. That's no. not why we're here and do you question. I mean, I don't know what those are. They're not sit-ups. Where's this going to end up? Yeah, something terrible can happen. Are they going to go flying into that thing? Woo! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> that last fall down. Oh! What a horrific idea. Oh! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Hold it together, hold it together. Nah, go ahead and lay it down. Now, that is the funniest setup video we probably had on this show. Everybody knows the best setup video we had on this show. Go ahead and put it up there. Oh, the put sexual setups. Uh, sexual yeah, setups. That's a smart way to do yes. setups. Yes. <laughs> that's a not clumsy at all way to do sit-ups. But don't we have some video of other people falling why, in the why, weight room? Why are you talking about videos of people falling when we can show that video again? Do you question which of these guys is tougher? All right, this is going to feature two gentlemen. One of them is UFC fighter Mark Hunt. The other is some dude named Noodles. <laughs> noodles? Where do you want to kill? I wonder I'm assuming which... the Noodles is on the <laughs> left. We have Mr. Mark Hunt. Which one's Mr. Noodles. Mr. Noodles. Here we go. I'll do it hot. I'll turn it Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, sure. If you drop him, you get, I'll get you a free drink if you drop oh, him. Oh, no. Oh, this man, is... I'm going to put my right hand Free Gatorade, on. free Gatorade. Free Gatorade, free Gatorade for the new fella. On the, uh, the count of three. One, oh, no. two. No, noodles. Three. Oh, noodles. Ah. Oh. <laughs> All right, noodles. Is noodles withstanding this? Noodles. <laughs> noodles and trash. at all, yeah. buddy. That guy said, no, he knows how to, to have a big belly. That's it. <laughs> Still belly. Noodles is the man. Noodles had the nerve to do a shuffle. There's no way yes. in the world that we're going to end this without going back. Can we show the noodles shuffle, yes, the please? the noodles jiggling shuffle. Let's noodles see Noodles did a shuffle. First of all, what's the point? We don't have an answer for that yet. Oh, <laughs> there are some jiggling wow. nipples right Look there. Look at his face, though. He took it. Yes, he did. Happily, I might add. I'm kind of judging our UFC fighter friend, by the way. There we go, the shuffle. There's the shuffle. I'm fired up. I'm fired up. I'm fired up. Somebody punch me. Oh, no, Somebody no, punch no, me. Dan, come on, no, come on. No, Don't be no, a chick. Come on, no, come on. No. I got to do the shuffle no, now. Yeah, no. yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, dear God. I, I love Are you going to do much. it? Are you going to do it? Get out of here. Don't do it. Go to break. <laughs> Coming up next on my Soul TV show. The crafty pair have gotten away with it scot-free. And the old alpha male has absolutely no idea that he may not have fathered the next Oh, no! Family. Oh, no! ¿Qué tú quieres, mujeres? She said she blow la la. Flip side. Now she my baby mama. Get wild. Okay. Freakway. Get the hood on smash. Popping tape, step on gas and get goes. Freeway, got the club on lock. A step on stage, shut it down. Live with a broad, check for her age. Post up, find sofa, circle the block. Call the cops, it is the rock in your area. Post up, distribute to the block. Freeway, move the rocks in your area. Highly questionable is broadcast from the Clevelander Hotel on beautiful South Beach, Miami. Time to play the game that Peyton Manny hates. See? Oh, come on, man. Oh, no. He's got a foot injury. You tell us what to watch on television tonight. We tell you if we're intrigued or not.
on ESPN, the Australian Open semifinal, Djokovic and Federer. Yeah, you're always down for that, right? Anyone is always down for that. We cover it the only way we know how, by going to Thomas Burdich, hitting a referee or a linesman in a place that you don't want to be hit. Oh, Oy. Walt into it. Right there. Not good. Bang. Ooh. That, I mean, that is excellent work. And that concludes our tennis coverage for the day. Uh, Bomani, are you intrigued? If I would I do back there, Roger Federer would become my least favorite tennis player of all time. At least try. Think about something bigger than yourself, man. That's right. Poppy, are you intrigued? Oh, see, see, I'm very intrigued because that, that, that match is going to t be televised at 3 o'clock in the morning. You know, I get up a number of times at night to go to the bathroom, so maybe <laughs> one of my trips to the bathroom, I'll check the TV set and I'll get to watch the match. You know, that's a good deal for me. I thought you were going to say you would watch it at 3.30 in the morning <laughs> after you got back from the club. The club? That's what I call my bathroom. <laughs> he does have a glow-in-the-dark <laughs> toilet. That's the That's truth. Right. I'm not even making that up. He can see it in the dark. He's oh, never mind. It's true though. I'm not it's making true, that up. It's I true. Know, I know, I know, that, that, that's good. Glow in the dark. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> On ESPN, Rockets and Spurs. Sure, this should be a fun game. And Greg Popovich was making fun of the Cavs here, right? The other day when they lost by 30 to Golden State. This is in reference to the Cavs firing Blatt, isn't it? I'm just glad my general manager wasn't in the locker room because it might have gotten me fired. Before halftime or after? You just don't get it, do you? <laughs> um, yeah, if it wasn't a reference to Blatt, he sort of explained it at the end that it was a reference to Blatt. But Monty, are you intrigued? I do think he has a bit of nerve, though, to be so stone-faced and handle these situations the way he does and then not realize that sometimes people might not know when you're joking, Pop. It can be a little difficult to glean. With you, it can be. Poppy, are you intrigued? Oh, see, see, I'm very intrigued. I listen, Popovich, the reason that you still got a job is because LeBron is not in your team. If LeBron were in your team, you have been fired a long time ago. Wow. You know, LeBron, he doesn't really? play games. Wow, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'd pay money to see LeBron try to get Greg Popovich fired, by the way. That would also mean I'd be paying money to watch Greg Popovich and LeBron fight, because I think Greg Popovich <laughs> would fight him. On PBS, Nature. That's it? This is dropping someone into the wilderness naked? Is this what we do here? What are we doing? This male is a long way down in the group's hierarchy. If he wants to have young, he's going to have to take on this guy. No, oh, no. The alpha male. No, that's not gonna go well. That's exactly what I would Only do. Only he exactly has the guy. right to mate with females group. in this group. Wait, what? Now, our young male could choose the hard way, the honest way and fight his way to the top. But it could take years, and it's risky. With a kick that can crush bone, kangaroos can inflict serious injury. So instead, he opts for plan B, cheat. If the alpha male isn't looking, and it's always worth checking. The crafty pair have gotten away with it scot-free. And the old alpha male has absolutely no idea that he may not have fathered the next Oh, no! Era. Oh, no! Alpha male, we need a paternity test. That was magical right there. Well, Monty, are you intrigued? They need to play some Johnny Taylor in the background. <laughs> Somebody was loving. Yeah. <laughs> My old lady. Yeah. <laughs> Poppy, are you intrigued? Oh, see, see, I'm very intrigued. But that, was, that, that wasn't an alpha male. I'll show you an alpha male. Look oh, at this guy oh, here. There yeah, you are. Yeah, That's yeah, the nobody, alpha male. Ain't nobody sneaking around on him. Yeah, nobody's having his demon babies. <laughs> Look at that. No, oh, no, 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 no. He, only he is procreating demon babies. I'll tell you this, though. Wait till that alpha male realize that baby don't look like him. It's going to be real <laughs> tense, and they're going to be all kangaroo Mori. <laughs> That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching. The Right Time with Bomani Jones, 4 to 7 Eastern on ESPN Radio. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Gracias. See you mañana. Don't touch my lady. <laughs> right, right. <laughs>
I'm assuming you're talking to me and not him. <laughs>